Jesse Ventura never shies away from a fight, not as a Navy SEAL, bodyguard for the Rolling Stones, pro wrestler, or as governor of Minnesota. And he's picking plenty more with his new book, 63 Documents the Government Does Not Want You to Read. Welcome back, Jesse Ventura. And, and, and I do promise you do not have to follow Chris Rock. The Never next time you're on the show. Thank you, George. <laughs> he is a tough act to have to follow. What a funny guy. He is a very funny guy. <laughs> But let, let's get right right sure. here, because we talked about this a little bit your last time on the show as well. This whole idea that you have some documents which you say uh, at least reinforce the idea that the government had advanced knowledge uh, that 9-11 could happen Absolutely. and didn't, didn't work to stop it. Now, I find a hard time believing you actually believe that. Why? They li I'm a Vietnam veteran, and they lied to me about the Gulf of Tonkin incident. And that was the false flag operation that put us into the Vietnam War where 58,000 of my generation were killed. And now, Mac, I was teaching at Harvard when McNamara came through and admitted it never happened. False flag operations, if you go through history, happen all the time before these wars. But that's very different from saying that uh, the government knew 9-11 was coming, knew the plans were coming, and didn't try to stop it. Well, uh, the, uh, take a look at my book. It's no more shocking than our government going down to Nicaragua and infecting hundreds of people with syphilis to see if penicillin worked. George, let me state this. There are great people that work in government. There are dedicated, patriotic people in government. But when you read this book, the scary part of this book for me, you could substitute the word Nazi and it would work. But, but, but the documents you, should, you, you use on 9-11 show, well, there's one document that, that suggests that uh, Tower 7 fell down faster than it could have fallen down just by natural. It doesn't suggest it, it says it. It said it fell at, if NIST report said it fell at free fall. So then you well, make that, the Wait a minute, that means you got to defy the laws of physics. That means everything was removed in which for anything to fall at But then you make speed. that leap then to the idea that it was demolished by, with, by explosives inside by the government. I don't, make, I don't make a leap. Why didn't they check for explosives? They never did, if not to eliminate them. They didn't do that. This book, this book is all documents that are out in the public domain. I'm not WikiLeaks. I didn't steal anything. You just got to find them. And there are documents here so disturbing, like the CIA's assassination manual. Excuse me, assassination is just a nice word for first degree murder, and we have a manual that tells how to do it and everything about it. As far as I know, George, first degree murder is illegal in every country in the world. But uh, aren't there some cases where it would be justified a tyrant who's killing hundreds of thousands of people? Who makes that the call? I'll say this too about if we go back to bin Laden, why haven't we indicted him? That gives us reason to go get him. We haven't indicted him. The government has never come forward, convened a grand jury, presented one shred of evidence that he did it officially, and get an indictment. So you don't believe he was behind it either? I don't know. But my government's lied to me so often, they've lost their credibility with me, George. And you do have those, the documents you say support some of these theories well, in the book. And the good thing about this book, it's not me telling you about the documents. The docu I give you my opinion, but then we reprint every document so the reader can read for themselves. I want to switch gears right now. You've had sure. such a varied career. You're even once on a soap opera, Young and Restless. <laughs> I've got a bone to pick with you. What's that? Why the hell did you decide not to run for president? I mean, imagine, the coming elections are boring the way they are. It would have been far more interesting with you in it. Well, there's always 2004. <laughs> How about 2012? No uh, way. I will tell you this. If Ron Paul runs as an independent, I would give great consideration to being his running mate. As you see, I dedicated this book to Congressman not Ron if he Paul. Runs as a, not if he runs as a Republican. Never. Now. I will not be a Democrat or Republican. They are the problem, not the solution. We need to abolish political parties in this country. you got a couple of Republicans coming from your state, Michelle Bachman and Tim Pawlenty. Well, uh, Michelle Bachman is actually my congresswoman. I live in her district. And could she be president? Uh, not uh, with my vote, she won't be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jesse Ventura, thanks very much for coming. Thank you, George. This Thank you. It's always a pleasure.